Ranking the best Ring of Honor cards in Madden 23. We are back here with another promo reveal. Today we got revealed Ring of Honor. First ones we got right here are 91 overalls. The first one right here is Merton Hanks. I remember this card. I believe it was Madden 20. Madden 21 was really, really good. I believe he will not get any discounted abilities, but he's six foot two. He's 94 speed. He's going to be a decent user, especially on the 49ers Seahawks or Legends theme team. Uh, I think he isn't like bad at all. He's going to go in this mid tier for me. After that, we get Gary Anderson, 95 kick power kicker, going to be good on these theme teams. That's pretty much the main point of them. Um, again, I don't want to put him in good because we are going to have just so many good cards in this tier list, but he's going to go in the mid tier again. If you run a theme team for him, going to be pretty decent. After that, we get Larry Tharp. Right now, they don't get any discount abilities. So for that reason, tackles a position where you need the ability. So not getting a secure pro, not getting an edge pro, that's going to go ahead and put him in this tier for me. After that, we get Joe Morris, a 94 speed uh, running back. Again, going to be somewhat decent on a theme team. I feel like he's not terrible. He is going to go ahead and go like probably worst card in mid, but I don't quite think he's trash. It's an ability thing, right? He's a 91 overall field general, not going to get like any crazy abilities or anything. So for that reason, he's going to be right here for me. After that, we got Chris Hinton right here. And it's pretty much the same exact thing I said about the 91s. Uh, the stats are better for him, but given he's a tackle, again, he just doesn't get the abilities at this point. And you need the edge pro, you need the secure pro. I can say the same thing for Willie Rofe as well. So Willie Rofe, the left tackle, again, wish they were great hopefully maybe they they do give the 94s abilities but here in the past promos haven't really been doing that after that steven boyd this time a 94 speed linebacker again though right now doesn't get discounted lurker so for that reason again just based on abilities just not really going to be too usable mark bavario this time is a 94 speed tight end six foot four 245 doesn't look terrible he doesn't look great though either he's gonna go right here for me he's, he's not like the worst in the world but again it's an ability thing now we get thaddeus moss uh this card's kind of crazy he's 96 speed Potential to be 98 because he gets every single team cam. Free agent track card, 99 speed tight end right here. Kind of crazy. I think you're looking at the new no money spent uh, tight end for the Dill man right here. I don't think he's like top end again based on abilities, but 99 speed tight end. He's at least going to go very good. Now we're taking jumps to 96 overall. These cards right here will get discount abilities, but they did not go over what they get. Like you can see on mud.gg right here. There's no, there's nothing for discount abilities in the stream. They didn't talk about it. We got Terry right here. Terry Kennard, six foot one. 96 speed 97 zone 93 play rec um obviously it's going to depend on what abilities he can get for the most part though i think he's basically guaranteed deep out zone ko pick artist so he's going to be a very decent free safety and i don't think they're going to give the 96s overpowered abilities i think most of them are just going to be around like the good tier potential to be great right after that we get robert uh porsche right here this is another card i believe it was madden 20 madden 21 last time he was in the game might be completely wrong on that but he's really fast 93 speed speed 90 finesse moves 97 power moves going to come down to what does he get does he get a zero ap don does he get a zero ap edge threat elite if he gets either of those two he is easily right here right now i, I think it's guaranteed he'll get like a one ap ability of those so for that reason i'm gonna be safe i'm gonna be a little bit safe put him in the good tier after that we get dante hall dante hall is going to be a 99 speed receiver on any single team I'm going to have 90s for all the route running this is a card again it's tough man it's tough to rank this card because if he gets a zero ap short and elite I would put him right here just because of the fact that like he's a 99 speed receiver on any single team but again like there's potential they just give this card zero ap return man there's potential that they give him zero ap human joystick like all these like basically like running back abilities at receiver so he could be great really going to depend on his abilities once again after that vince wolfork 84 speed he's huge six foot two 325 great power moves finesse moves a little bit lacking but again going to come down to does he get any glitchy abilities and for that reason i think he will play good uh, i'm a little bit more worried the, the card i'm most confident in that's going to be really really good is a uh, terry and uh porsche right here i think these two are your your best bets after that we get ricky jackson so ricky jackson 93 speed great power moves finesse moves a little bit low not a bad rusher like again it's going to depend on his abilities his run stopper arc does he get a zero ap inside stuff zero ap no outsiders uh really going to depend on that but for sure i think he's going to be right around here is going to be my guess the 96s were a lot of like speculation of how good i think they're going to be now we're getting into the 98s where we know their discounted abilities but there's going to be a twist on this as well though because i don't know if you guys have been like paying attention but like the weekly wild cards and also the game changer 98 overalls 
they're starting to get every ability for one, period. You're looking at someone, uh, Jerry Rice, looks to get Route Tech short and elite or short out elite for zero combo, which would be insane. He probably could potentially get Route Tech short out and short in no matter what for one. So this card for me, man, uh, free agent track card, gonna make him 98 speed, he's six foot two. I think I, it's safe to say he is up there with CD Lamb in my opinion. I think he is really, really great. Him and CD Lamb right now are probably my wide receiver one and two. Next up, we get into Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson, any single team with the free agent track card. 99 speed he's six foot one great zone great excel ability discounts we get deep route ko for one pick artist for zero honestly his abilities aren't great i'll be honest this is another card where it's going to depend on what they do with the 98s because if he can get every discount for one is he better than derwin in them i mean he's at least on the same level right if they do his discounts like how they've been doing weekly wild card and also game changers i can easily see the argument for right here i'm not gonna lie to you i can easily see it after that kevin glover this time kevin glover 96 pass block finesse 94 pass block power these are actually somewhat low for his overall i'm not gonna lie to you kind of crazy 98 run block though you can get post up for zero i believe he is going to be someone that can go ahead and stack two zero ap abilities so potentially like an identifier or puller elite honestly puller elite on the center though is not really great uh hopefully he could get like post up and like identifier for zero that would be really really ideal he's another one where he's in the conversation for best center in the game in my opinion okay this is what we're gonna do since these 98s are so good if it's not clear cut that i think they're the best at their position i'm gonna go ahead and just put them in the great tier because i don't just want to put every single one of these at best at position if they're in the conversation for best or they're in the meta they're gonna go in the great tier for me now we get into herman moore that's six foot four on any team can be 98 speed so this card this time deep out of leap for zero short out of leap for zero red zone threat for zero ap wise ability wise I don't think he is the best. I think CD Lamb and Jerry Rice, uh, the potential to stack two really, really of the top end abilities for zero is why I'm not going to put uh, Herman Moore as clear cut best at position. I am gonna go ahead and put him in the great tier. I think he is like right now probably gonna be my wide receiver four. He is above like all the team of the year guys because of his height and like just how he plays. And I'm basing that on his zero chill card. After that, we get Perry Williams, who's a six foot two corner. That's going to be 99 speed on any single team um, with the free agent track card. Ability discounts, pick artist for zero, mid zone for one, deep out zone KO for one. Crazy, this is a crazy, crazy good card. Um, do I think he is? I think he's one of the best zone corners in the game. I think he would overtake uh, Ramsey for me because it looks like he has the potential to get flat zone or mid zone. He is going to go best of position for me. After that, we get Carl Banks. So Carl Banks, great speed, great excel, block shed, power moves, but the finesse moves only 67. Kind of why I didn't like his uh, level master card, but he can get double or nothing for zero. Ed Shuttley for one, El Toro for zero. If he can get double or nothing and El Toro combined, which it kind of looks like he can right now, He's gonna be insane. So for that reason, double or nothing and El Toro combined is what doesn't put him in the good tier for me. He is someone again that is very, very close. I just don't like the finesse moves being that low. Now we get Asante Samuel, love him being back in the game. Again, another base 99 speed card with the free agent track card. Pick artist for zero, deep in, deep out, flat zone, deep route KO. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Do they do his ability discounts like how they do the uh, weekly wild cards like I was saying with some other cards? Because if he can get like potentially deep out zone KO pick artist mid zone, oh, 100%. He's also one of the best zone corners in the game. 100%. I think they will. Like, that's why I'm pretty confident that like him and Darren Woodson are going to be up here. So I'm going to put Darren Woodson and uh, Asante Samuel right at the top end of this tier. It's just like, for me, it's not clear cut that they are going to be best at position. Now we get Randall Cunningham. So Randall Cunningham, six foot four, uh, great speed, accuracies, all that. Looks to be amazing stats wise. Gunslinger for zero. Pasley Elite for one. And then after that, it gets really, really rough. So we're looking at someone that we're kind of hoping, again, the the discounts, Hara Master for one, Fearless for one. If he could get that, if he could potentially get PLE, Fearless, and Hara Master for three with Gunslinger stacked on top, oh, he's easily in the conversation for best QB in the game. Right now, though, it looks like he's closer to like this tier. I know he's great stats wise, but I will go ahead and put him in this great tier once again. 
I am the most worried about Randall Cunningham. Great stats wise, but the abilities looked kind of mid. Again, gonna depend on how they do them. He's another person with like Asante Samuel, Darren Woodson, where if they do his abilities right, he could be argued best quarterback in the game. After that, we get Priest Holmes. That's gonna be a base 99 speed running back on any single team. You get human joystick for zero, backfield master for zero, evasive for zero, short and elite for zero. This is a card where his direct comparison now, Gus the Bus, Quad Father, King Henry. He doesn't get the freight train X factor. So for that reason, he can be argued for best non X factor running back in the game, but he's not the best in the game because of the fact that those X factors exist. After that, we get Will Shields. Will Shields, great pass blocker with 97 pass block finesse, 98 pass block power, 99 run block. You can get post up for zero, identifier for zero, nasty streak, secure protector for one, threat detector for one. To me, it looks like he could potentially get like post up and nasty streak for zero. So for that reason, um, I think he will be the best right guard in the game. So he's going to be best of position for me. After that, we get into the 99s. First one up right here is Tony Gonzalez. Tony G, zero AP red zone threat baked on. He can potentially get short and elite for zero and also route tech for one. So we're looking at someone route tech, short and elite red zone threat for one AP um, in insane value. Also 96 speed, going to be 97 on any single team. I think Tony G is going to be one of the best tight ends in the game. I think Tony G overtakes my best tight end spot. I think he's going to be ridiculous. Now we get Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, baked on zero AP pick artist. He is the first player in the game, I believe, to get KOs for zero AP. If you run zone, he gets mid zone. If you run man, medium route KO. Can get acrobat for zero. Can get deep out zone KO for one. So we're looking at someone that can probably get pick artist, acro, mid zone, and deep out zone KO for, for one. Hello? That is absolutely insane. I think he is the new, like, by far and away best corner in the game. Did I mention he gets every single team chem as well? He's probably the best card of the promo. After that, we get Barry Sanders, baked on, zero AP evasive. Going to be 99 speed on any single team given the free agent track card. Ability-wise, short and elite, human joystick, backfield master, leapfrog for zero as well. This is another card where, honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter your stats for running back. In my opinion, I don't think he's better than Gustabus. I don't think he's better than Quadfather. I don't think he's better than King Henry. He is probably the best best in the game running back if you don't use a pre-lit x-factor so for that reason he'll be top in the great for me Th those x-factors are just literally crazy after that we get randy moss baked on zero ap deep out elite route tech for zero short out elite for zero short and elite for one so to me it looks like he'll probably like i don't know if it's likely or if he will but potentially zero AP deep out route tech and short out, that would be absolutely insane. Like there's a possibility he can get it, but that would be, that would be nuts. Um, I think no matter what, how you break it down though, he will go ahead and get probably route tech for one short out for one and deep out elite on top of it. It's basically as if they hit the upgrade button on a Monroe St. Brown's game changer, in my opinion, six foot four, going to be 99 speed on any single team. Great route runnings. Randy Moss gets a new card. I will go ahead and say, I think he will be in the top three receivers. Again, I think top three receivers in the game for me right now, probably Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, CD Lamb, and then right underneath of them is Herman Moore. And last card of the video, we get LT. So LT, double or nothing for zero, edge shot elite for zero. Do we even need to continue? Most insane ability combo I've seen because guess how much AP, double or nothing, and edge shot elite combo together would be at the beginning of the year? It was around like eight AP, I believe. So it's insane. And did I mention like his stats, like block shed 99, 98 finesse moves, 99 power moves? I mean, card is ridiculous. Card is absolutely ridiculous. Um, if Dion isn't the best, LT is the best. So yeah, y'all, I think we got a ton, a ton of new meta players in the game, y'all. Kind of a crazy drop. This was insane. Madden's definitely trying to get y'all not to go on MLB. But yeah, y'all, this has been my tier list for the Ring of Honor promo. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Who are you excited for? Who are you picking up on your squad? If you did enjoy the video, though, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 23. Now, if you want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. We've been grinding the streams over there, so I greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch, though, you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. Gus the Bus is the most overpowered card in Madden 23.